All right, so first thing I need to do is find a big ass Allen key. But not too big of an ass. Oh, Oh, no, I did find. I was going to say, sweet, I found it the first try, but I actually did. Of course, there's a nut on the bottom. Why wouldn't there be? Well, the chances I had the right size already sitting out on here. Not, not good. That's what, the, that's what the chances are. All right, so tonight we are uh, working on some little side projects and getting some new uh, tools that we have to modify some older tools that are still kind of newer tools. But uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, as you can see right here, I've got my JD Squared uh, Notch Master, and it's a really good piece of equipment, and I really like it. The only thing I don't like is that it doesn't really give you the ability to go past 50 degrees when you're notching something, um, which I didn't think would be that big of a deal when I bought it, and it hasn't been until now. Uh, so, I was actually watching the Faster Problems uh, guys, and uh, those guys, Talked about last in particular, talked about these cool little products. This is from Swag Off Road. They're a company out of where I'm from, Oregon. And they build what's called the Reach Around. And so, what this does is allows this to get modified to basically take a longer uh, stroke and offset it off so we can do different cuts. And I also picked up this little thing which is uh, a little magnet deal that they make. It basically goes in the end here and lets you uh, offset your pipe and tube and whatnot up out of there far enough for like bends and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool little thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and modify this because I do have to do a little bit of modifications. I have to pull this off and then I need to drill a new hole in it and then I need to uh, slot the new stuff on and set her up. So I'm going to do that and uh, we'll go from there. Attempt to do this without dropping it. Boom. And that's well lubed because, well, that's where all the lube ended up. Boom. Get that off of there. That's going to have to come off of there. And now is when I need to find the instructions. I remember it being pretty straightforward, but I still want the destructions. Ooh, and a sticker for the fridge. Seems simple enough. So it just tells me to line it up with the zero mark, but where exactly is that? Of course, it doesn't show you. I keep seeing those on there. I want to blow the shards off. Um, install the factory arm or the arm in the factory arm hole with a degree indicator at zero. Well, if I had to guess, I would say that's zero. But I don't know that I necessarily agree with that. I also think the zero should be pretty much lined up with that. So about there. Fuck okay. it. Right about there. Looks good. Alright, so that was going really good until the tool decided to move on me. You know, I put that there the other day and I was like, that's a bad idea for that. It turns out I was right.
mother of God, that took forever. Not really, I mean, realistically, for. They're drilled through a giant chunk of steel, because that's got to be one inch steel, at least. So I don't quite know why I had to move that, why I had to drill that other hole in there. Because from best I can tell, it'll totally work with this one. Or I don't know if it's a, for later on I'll need it to do more aggressive bend or uh, copes. Like I said, I'm not really sure. The instructions are not that. Um, detailed as to why you would need to move it out because it'll still do its standard um that's a good question how are my bearings looking you know what i'm gonna clean and grease this when i have it apart a little maintenance never hurt nobody What worries me sometimes is the way this thing goes in and out of there is that it will catch some shards and get past the seals here and get down in the bearings with that crap, which is definitely not what we want. All right. And with that grease temp disc brake wheel bearing grease seems like the right stuff Copious amount up in that little recess in there. And what that'll do is as it moves through, it'll actually uh, grab the grease that's in there and distribute it through the um bearings as this goes in and out which is what you want with something like this boom all right so that's pretty decent sweet and that should keep us good for a while cool maintenance get that white down a bit Okay, fuck. Okay, next. So yeah, looks like it's just normal cutting operation to there. Basically, once you go past there, that's when you need to move out. Yeah. Which changes things. It changes everything. Because when you step out like that, figuring the angle out is going to be fun. Won't be the end of the world, but it's going to be fun. All right, so the cut I'm setting up for the, this four 
is a uh, 77 degree angle. I don't remember putting a washer on the bottom of that. That's good I didn't. It was just stuck on there from the old one. Come on. Boom. All right. Boom. And now, yeah. Yeah. That lets me get way out there. Hell yeah. All right, cool. It's a hell of a cope, but it fits on there perfect. Same with that side. Mm -hmm. 